All that at LiveNation.com. Want to go be caller 10? Good luck. You and a pal at Fall Out Boy. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. The Alan Cox Show. Podcast anytime on our iHeartRadio app. Ooh, what's a podcast? Like a TV show, but without the pictures. Baby, that's called radio. What you're describing is radio. And live on the radio weekday afternoons. 100.7 WM. What does that mean? You take children away from people? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much? Is that what you said? <laughs> it's supposed to be a joke, and it came real. Are you with him, ma'am, or is he just taking your children? <laughs> don't cry. It's going to be okay. You don't have to be with him. Listen, if there's one thing that you can say about Ian Bag is that he's concerned about the welfare of children yep. worldwide. I thought you were going to say that I'm here. Can I bring up something beforehand? <laughs> now, you are that's here. That's the best part of Ian. That is true. <laughs> we don't have to interview him. He's I ready I thought you to go. were going to say, I am here. I am you it. are, yeah. I am. It. But, but can I, I, you just, you just, uh, you're giving away tickets to Fall Out Boy. That's and right. And Fall Out Boy, are they Canadian? They are Chicago. Oh, they're Chicago. Yeah. They're, and one of the guys uh, married one of the girls. I ah, forget it. He they're, went at, yes. married Jessica Simpson's younger sister, I believe, Ashley Simpson. But I the real see. question is, they're brought to you by the Minutemen. Is there a militia that's putting on concerts no, now? I well, A, I don't know about that, but that's not what that is. Yes. <laughs> I love it. That's a great idea. We're starting a militia, but we've got to make some money. Those are probably right. kid Let's rock put on concerts. Some concerts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Okay. laughs> Fall Out Boy might be right up our alley. Yeah. Fall yeah. Out Boy is going to make us some money. Boy, I haven't so seen, last time I saw you was on Zoom. Oh, yes, you did. It was my, a couple uh, years yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, it was uh, it. that's right. Around yeah. the bag is yeah. what it was. It was so much fun. Doing Ian Bag had. Oh God, it was so fun because I already knew Nicole Shriver, so mm -hmm. and I didn't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of the. It was. Uh, uh, it was Bob uh, Biggerstaff. Oh, Bob. Yeah, yeah, oh, it was Bobby. Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Bobby. And, yeah, it was so fun. Uh, it was. It, it was a that great really time. was dead center COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, like just trying to not go crazy and doing like a little game show. It was, it was one of those things where I was like, oh, so apparently we're taking four weeks off, and I'm going to try something different. So right. I'm going to I'm going to do this uh, this game show talk show via Zoom. This will be a little flight of fancy. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and I'm going to have I'm going to do it every day to kill time. <laughs> so I would do it every day, <laughs> and after you start booking three guests a day. For seven days a week, that's twenty-one guests. It's by a lot your, of work. It's a lot of work, and you're yeah. like, "Well, I'm going to take it down to one day a week." Right. And COVID Except should that, be over in a couple more weeks. At that time, though, <laughs> there were probably everybody was looking for something to do. Yes. So it probably wasn't that hard. Well, it was right at the beginning, so people weren't. They were. They were still there. It's a vacation. We're having a good time. Oh, Don't really? Feel like Even doing it, anything. Was a, it was around Christmas of 2020, mm -hmm. right? No, uh, that was you went in later. Oh, but I, I, yes. oh, you're talking about when you started? When I started, yeah, started doing oh, it every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, you came in, you came in, and you guys... When it was established. Yeah, because yeah. gotcha. you guys were working up a storm during yes. the beginning. You guys... We never stopped going. We never stopped. We never, yeah. never stopped. You guys. We did a few so that when we first started, or like when they first uh, were like, hey, everybody stay home, we did a few episodes from my condo mm. while they like deep cleaned the whole studio, which... I don't think it was over that clean. <laughs> when we went back, I'm like, there's still a lot of dust here. Uh, we ran our yeah. index fingers yeah. across no, I, everything, and we said, look, there's COVID everywhere. Mm -hmm. You guys are the worst. You know. Yeah. But other than that, we totally judged. We were coming company. in the whole time. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. we waited until they were gone, and then we criticized mm -hmm, them behind mm -hmm. their backs. Mm -hmm. Like nice. Americans. That's how I do it, too. I'm like, I'll be your friend until you leave. Yeah. Well, I'm going to talk about a different radio show as soon as I walk out you of this place. When I'm you in when I'm in Cincinnati, this is what they do with me. <laughs> that <laughs> Alan, when I'm that in Cincinnati, Alan. he's no kid, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah. you are a if nothing else, you I'm, are a prominent Canadian. Uh, I wouldn't. Fair my, to say, my, you're my, a prominent my, Canadian. Uh, yes, my right? dad would uh, beg to. Do Have it. you ever gotten one of those? I don't think it's is it an OBE over there? Like in England, when Elton John gets, it's like an, it's a the order oh, of the order. Yeah, no, Can I no, no, no. Well, but I only ask because there's so many levels. I'm like, there's yeah. got to be like an Ian Bag level. I like got an the key to the level. city. What city? My town that I grew up in, Terrace. And I said, there's so much crime here. I'm pretty sure I don't need a key. Right. <laughs> 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 they gave me I the chisel to the city, yeah. and it was all good. Yeah, yeah that's way up, way up in British Columbia. Way up in British Columbia, yeah. northern British Columbia. Right, good uh, fishing up there. Oh, great fishing. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of bears. 
Uh, yeah, oh, we so actually get this. We have uh, on. <laughs> this is a great story to tell. <laughs> yeah, we have a where I grew up. You find a black bear that is white. Uh, now explain that to me. It is called the spirit bear. Okay. That is what the indigenous like people call the it. The genus okay. and the species make it a black bear. It is a black bear. It is but white it is furred. White. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. And right. It, it, when I was growing up, it was called the Kermode bear. Yeah. But not, and now it's gone back to the spirit bear in honor of the indigenous people. When you're living up there, uh, growing up there, are you really in tune with that indigenous vibe? Like, uh, I grew up with, yeah. yeah well, yeah, okay. we grew up basically on the reserve. You, know, you did? Yeah, the town was basically the reserve, and yeah, we got along, we didn't get along, we got along, we didn't get along. It was, you were you know, a reservation like, dog. Yeah. Ah, oh, love that oh. show. It is a good show, isn't it? And I talked to Kirk Fox about it, because he plays, uh, yeah. he, he's in that show, and I, I'm just like, dude, you're so good. And I just yes. I just tell him, and I, and Mark Maron, I tell, I tell them both, I'm like, I had no idea you guys had this in you. You are so good. Yeah. So, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, so good. Anyway, but it was, <laughs> but it was it's one of those towns. But, so we have this white black bear, and uh, it's very special. And they ever call it, it the M&M bear? Uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't pretend he's black. <laughs> <laughs> has but, spaghetti all over his fur. Yeah, but he, uh, he, he uh, these, he's bear very arms special. Ready. You're very special. It's a spirit bear. If you mm-hmm. see him, it's very, and, I remember seeing him at the dump when I was a kid all the yeah. time. So I was like, I don't know if that's a spirit bear. But where I grew up, the uh, the there was one, and it was killed. And uh, by like an interloper or someone in the community, someone they in weren't the community sure. killed yeah. the bear, mm-hmm. and uh, it turned out to be the vet's son. Oh really? <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. And I used to not make veteran, fun about it. Yeah. veterinarian. Like when, yeah, the veterinarian. Yeah. When there's right. vandalism and it's done by like the police captain's son or yes. something like that. But how, do you, is it one of those things where like you think you're a good vet dad? Uh-huh. Try to bring this back. Try to, to life. save this. Yeah. Try to save this spirit bear. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a real spirit bear now. <laughs> but was it? Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna dump this outside of your office and I see just what you can do. Wanted mm-hmm. it to live to its full potential as mm-hmm. a spirit bear. That's right. But did that because the vet's kid probably had some access to some of dad's equipment. Was it a real bloody thing or did he no. like lethal? Inject it. No, he uh, he shot it. Shot it. Shot it. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, drive oh, by. Oh boy. Are you trying to tell me the people in terrorist British Columbia have guns? Uh, Is that what you <laughs> rifles? Rifles. We don't. We don't have. To... We don't have pistols. We have yeah. rifles. No but I love pistols. I love it. They 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 boxed it up and they put it right in the airport. Oh, mm-hmm. That's it. Just sits in the airport. <laughs> just like in a pose oh, of, a bear, of a bear yeah. walking up to a dump. Now, how does that get <laughs> how does that get litigated when they found out it was the vet's kid? Uh, it's probably seven fifty fine, and uh, is that what it was? Clean up some things. Yeah, right. W- wipe up some uh, some graffiti, but the graffiti up there is not very bad. Did it graffiti, out of season? Like, yeah, that was yeah, his biggest yeah. offense. Yeah, yeah. and you got to do it in two languages. Yeah, you got to do it in two languages. It's boring. It's just like <laughs> Brad eighty seven. What is it? That's uh, <laughs> the movie Canadian Bacon. They make that yeah. joke <laughs> where <laughs> Canada sucks, and then they're like, "Hey, but you got to do it in both." <laughs> <laughs> are there uh, cornflakes are called flag on de May mm-hmm. in, uh, in, in because in it French. sounds more delicious. But but, but uh, there's a there's a comic. He doesn't do comedy anymore. He's a writer now. But he used to do this joke. And he used to, he, f- he f- swears at people in French. Mm-hmm. But he just uses like the opposite sides of boxes because of boxes of things in Canada like food. One side would be English. One side would be oh, French. Yeah. So he he would swear at people in uh, flag on de May. <laughs> <laughs> you use a spoon. <laughs> Pat I got. I got to get. Uh, hold your thought, because I got to give away some money here. Oh, I don't like it. To the heat. This is America. We don't give away things. I know. I don't want to be on the want goal. Money, you earn Socialism. Money. Yeah. Uh, it's How a much chance. money we get involved? It's a thousand dollars. Can I get involved? No. Oh. To go fund yourself. Uh, listen closely to this, and good luck. The buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score one thousand dollars. Enter the nationwide keyword bank at WMMS.com. That's bank. Enter it now at WMMS.com. And good luck from Buzzard Radio. Ian Bag yes. is at Hilarities this weekend. Ooh. How long has it been since you, this is your first time in here, but how long since you have been, been to Hilarities? In town? Yeah. Oh, has it uh, been th- a long time? I think I came the year of the pandemic before it happened or just So the it's year been before. a minute it's, then. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't even know what year it is. I refuse to celebrate years now because the last time we did it, look what happened. <laughs> oh, you think that it oh, was yeah. uh, it was our hubris? Oh, yeah, it right. was our celebratory spirit yeah. that screwed us. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be the best year ever. Yeah, yes, nothing can get us now. Us. Nope. And boom. Yeah. Yeah. 
Laverne are you a Shirley Dallas Lever- Stars fan or no, were you a Minnesota swag. North Stars fan? Oh, uh, okay. I got free swag, so I wear it. Yeah, okay. I, but I do like the Minnesota North Stars. Neil Broughton. Yeah. Uh, they used to, they were also, for I think for a hot minute, Bill, correct me if I'm wrong, weren't they the Cleveland Barons? Weren't ooh, the Dallas Stars ooh. the Cleveland Barons? No, back the in Dallas the day? Stars weren't. Maybe I, the Minnesota North Stars. Oh, well, maybe the Minnesota yeah. North Stars were. I uh, have an old Winnipeg Jets jersey from the OG Jets. Ah. That just was in a box and it came full circle because like they were the they were in Atlanta for yeah. a minute mm-hmm. and now they're back up in Winnipeg. Yeah, it's good times up in Winnipeg and they're doing well. I want to get some Barons merchandise, but I can't, I can't find it. Always... <laughs> Cleveland Barons. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. T-shirt. They just had the throwback night to an IHL team, uh, the Cleveland Lumberjacks, and they had these kind of gaudy look. They're, they're very '90s with a big cartoon beaver. That's uh, the symbol of a lumberjack for whatever reason, but I love them. They're, I love it, too. They're great. It's a great logo. The Cleveland Lumberjacks? Yeah. It's an interesting... I, are you guys known for it's your why there's lumbering? No, it's why there's no trees. They were all lumbered down by oh. the lumber... Well, this is called the Forest City. Oh, I didn't. As you can see, look out the window here. Nothing but foliage. Oh, there's there's Forest right yeah. over there. There's a guy <laughs> named Forest. Yeah. Alan, I thought Ian was saying that the spirit bear that was shot was the vet's son. Ooh, wouldn't that have been a twist? Oh man! Oh, the bear was the vet's son. Oh, that would have been. No, that would have been. That would have been. What that would have the... been a show on CBC in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been. A... Right. Spirit bear son. Uh huh. What if his spirit went into the vet's son, and now he's able? That's another to, movie, right? That's yeah. another movie starring oh. uh, starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Yep. <laughs> As the veterinarian. As the veterinarian's wife. Wife. Mm-hmm. But she is now the son. Oh, oh, it's like a Freaky Friday, yeah, but with a right, bear yeah. and a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> and right. Walt Disney brings him back. Write that down. <laughs> Write that down. That might be something. Next time you got to pitch something. No. They just Freaky said, Vondrity okay. is what they'd call it up yeah. there in uh, Canada. Yeah. I they're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're bringing back At Midnight. Have you ever, were you ever on that? At Midnight? No. With Hardwick? I feel like no. that'd be Hardwick, no. Perfect show You must be you. the only comic that wasn't on At Midnight. I was. They did and like you know, 600 shows. The there were parts? most people I'd never heard of before. Uh, I know. I was like, uh, hi guys, I'm just right here. Yes. I'm standing right here. I'd love yes. to do it. And they're like, I, I, I was with a management company and I hooked up uh, Hardwick and Gaffigan with his manager. So I got Hardwick his manager and I don't even get on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Quick, Chris. like you just, just give me a bone. Come right. on. And then when, when things happened, I was like, ha ha. This is a town of favors. That's what you get. That's what you get. get. Yeah. For screwing with Ian Bag. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't take the bag lightly. How has it been back out on the road? Pretty Have good. you been having fun? Was it like uh, muscle memory? Was it? I never really stopped. Right. I just everything just slowed down. And and for and, a while you're probably doing like weirdo venues just yeah. to be out there. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. And and it also made me reassess life in every way. Right. I I. I, I I really love doing stand up and I took a little bit out of my life to love it even more. Right. And to love my at home life more. You so. don't strike me as a guy because you're kind of so, even if you're not actually fast and loose, mm-hmm. you're so seemingly fast and loose. That's oh, the so great part of it. You don't seem like somebody who would get rattled easily by. Oh, no, I love know. it. I yeah. love it in the ditch. Yeah. Like, seriously. Right. I, it's, it's, it's interesting there. And I don't, uh, you know, I remember uh, friends wanting to get out of comedy clubs because they didn't want to deal with the waitresses and the serving of drinks mm-hmm. and like that. And I'm like, that's kind of fun. Right. Because you don't part know what's happening. Yeah. Something's on your toes. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 part of, it's part of the internet. Oh, I just want to be in a theater where everything is sterile. And I'm like, hmm, no, not but me. But it's also gotten to the point now where people, we've talked about this ad nauseum on this show because I'm just constantly fascinated by how comfortable audiences are by inserting themselves into a performance. Why they don't think that a comedian is a performance rather than Like, if you're going to see a a band or something, people aren't out there screaming at the band. I don't mean, like, play Freebird. Yeah, but... Like, they're at a a comedy show, even in theaters, there's people now yelling stuff out. People are so comfortable now. In which which way? Like, wrongly? Not even necessarily heckling. Not even necessarily that. Just verbalizing in the middle of a show. I mean, you're a guy that can really bob and weave. Right. There are some people who the thing is set... And they're performing what they've written. You know what I mean? That might be rigid for some people, but that can really throw some people off. But the way stand-up is done, it's like a conversation with the crowd individually. If it's done well. So not everybody's doing it well. Right, but yeah. but you th- are. I but, but even even the guys that are set, they yeah. it seems like a conversation with the crowd, but individually. Like the crowd is individually. You're talking to me. Right. Mm-hmm. Like when people will say, Oh, he's 
he means me. Like yeah. people like will say that after a show. I got you because you were talking to me. Right. Like that's I've seen people say that to people. They never say it to me. You weren't talking to me. <laughs> but but you were looking over my head the whole time. For me with stand up, I feel like you've made them so comfortable. They feel like they're they're the conversation. Okay. The people that I don't like are the people that have to let you know that they're not enjoying this. Oh, like I we, see. there's another group of people. I don't know where it came from, and I think it's Alcohol been around. Alcohol is where that comes that, from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, it, they do it everywhere. Like I gotta let you know, I don't enjoy your bananas in this grocery store. Right. And if I don't leave until I tell you, mm-hmm. these bananas are not good bananas. Well, it's I've not done my job. That all comes from like um, uh, online commentary and uh, but is that rating culture? Essentially, is that, is that really, or is it? I think has it always so. been there? I think that's a there's. It's certainly part opened that's up. always I mean, been there. Because it's a verbal com- Yelp review that yeah. some people feel compelled to give. But okay. I think there's also people that, I mean, comedy is so subjective and so yes. personal to people that when you are doing something that they don't find funny, they can't understand why other people are enjoying it. So they have to verbalize and be like, what's wrong with you people in a way? Like, why are you laughing at this guy? This guy stinks. Yeah, this guy's like, wrong. Yeah. This guy's wrong. I Or I, you're bombing and they're just like... You know, saying what everybody in the crowd is thinking. Uh, they finally let you know. We've discussed as a group. Yeah. I, I like when people tell you, uh, like, there's a group of people tell you, oh, it must be tough doing comedy now with this cancel culture. Right. And I'm just like, uh, we've always had cancel culture in stand up. Yeah. Like, the, the judge and jury are right there, and they'll let you know if you've gone yeah. too far. And they will boo you, and mm-hmm. they will tell you you're not funny. They will come together as a group yeah. and let you know you're not funny. And I remember, I remember when starting out thinking, that's weird that, you know, I think the, you know, the crowd may have been 100 people. I'm like, that's weird that 100 people could agree at the same time that something's not funny. Right. <laughs> like, not one laugh. That's uh, I have definitely screwed this joke up. <laughs> it's like they signed a pact yeah. with each other. All right. All right. Mentally. Yeah. yeah. Everybody look at the back of everybody's head, and if that doesn't move, that means we don't laugh. <laughs> It, yeah, it's also uh, I think Mark Maron was talking about it and I saw a quote about how he's like cancel culture is kind of this word that people use to so they don't have to be clever. Right. And they don't have to, you know, have nuance to their jokes where you can make jokes about anything, but there has to be. You know, it it it, it should be something more than just like, absolutely, you're different. Why are you different? Right. That's not cool. Like that. There's there's. Our job, there's low hanging fruit, and then there's you know a way to do it in a way that is, you can dance around it and and make a, people laugh at something that they shouldn't laugh at, and that's the fun. Well, of that's it. the thing. Oh, it's, yeah, it's about taking something that isn't funny yeah. and making it funny. Right. So it, it it's not about it's not about just pushing something in your face. Is yeah. like we do you want us just to do the same thing that Bob Hope was doing because it's already been done. We have to try to come up with new stuff, right? right? So it, it's weird. But well, some when of you us say do. Low- some, some of us, some of us just go and they're like, "Remember when Trump was president? That was crazy." <laughs> I've seen like nine specials like that. That's a that's a bad. <laughs> remember Trump? Yeah, that was. Uh, he said this. Can you believe he said that? And I'm like, this dude saw out theaters. Okay. Yeah, uh, you, you never. I, I never look around to see what other people are doing. But it's it's, yeah. it's just it's it's. It's it's interesting, but you brought up low hanging fruit. Uh, yeah. Low hanging fruit is just as nutritious as high. Yummy! Fruit. I'll <laughs> tell you what. You're right. It's high in vitamins it, yeah. and minerals. And I don't need any of it. All. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, so knock knock. Right. I have to take. I have to take a break. Do you have to go, or you want to hang out? For oh, I'm, I'm in. You guys okay, are never okay. getting rid of me. All right. Ian Bag I work at is the PNC Bank now. Doing the um, uh, in between uh, shifts as a teller across the street. Uh, he's at Hilarities this week. You can go to Pickwick best and Club ever. What's that? Yeah, best club ever, right? So, like, there's probably about six, and this is in that country, and this yeah. is one of them. Everybody loves Hilarities. 